Hello, everyone. My name is Kat Oriel with Forbes Breaking News, and today I'm here with Jeffrey Abrams, the Regional Director of ADL Los Angeles. Jeffrey, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you. I appreciate the time. Of course. So on Sunday, there was a violent clash between pro-Palestinian protesters, pro-Israel counter-protesters outside a Los Angeles synagogue. What was the cause of this clash and what exactly happened? Well, to be clear, what happened this past Sunday was coordinated hate. What we saw is a group of pro-Palestinian supporters come into a largely Jewish neighborhood A neighborhood, by the way, that in February 2023 saw on consecutive mornings Orthodox Jewish men shot on their way out of synagogue simply because they were Jewish. And this mob came to this neighborhood to a synagogue, a synagogue, a house of worship, and basically took control and prevented people from coming in and out of this synagogue. And then ultimately, ultimately and predictably, there was a violent clash. That is what occurred in this country, in the city of Los Angeles, yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And like you said, this isn't the first incident, but for this one in particular, what have you been hearing in response? How have the Jewish Jewish communities in Los Angeles and California felt after watching this latest event unfold? Well, quite understandably, the community feels terrorized, and that is the intention. And, And it's not only that they intend to terrorize, they also use tactics that are meant to do so. This was not limited to the front of a synagogue, but after they were started to be dispersed, they trickled into the neighborhood. This is a neighborhood that has a large Orthodox Jewish population. Los Angeles is the second largest Jewish population in this country. There's a reason for this fear right now, and it's really incumbent upon every person, every member of law enforcement, every elected official to use their voice right now. Mm -hmm. In that vein, do you feel like the California and Los Angeles governments are doing enough in support of the Jewish community? Have you heard from um, people like Mayor Karen Bass's team, Gov Newsom's team? Have they reached out to the ADL at all to see what they can do, offer resources? The answer is yes. The answer is that we have heard from our elected officials. I'll be leaving shortly to to go to a meeting that includes Mayor Bass, that includes the chief of LAPD. We are speaking with these people and we're speaking and demanding more. And as we do privately, we will do publicly. Every law needs to be enforced, whether that's anti-masking laws or otherwise. And if laws don't exist for buffer zones or time, place and manner, then we need to have those laws enacted and then enforced. We saw what happened on campuses and we cannot allow this to spill into our streets. And what about on a federal level? Do you think the Biden administration, well, I, my question is actually, has the Biden administration even reached out? Like, has this been getting um, some federal support, the Biden DOJ? Have you heard anything from them or just on a local and state level? Again, we are so fortunate in Los Angeles to have these deep, deep relationships. I literally just got off the phone with U.S. Attorney Martin Estra- Martin Estrada. And so they too will be looking at this in coordination with the FBI. So the news here is, that those who are responsible and leadership are working together, elected officials, law enforcement, Jewish communal organizations. But what we need now, we need everyone to speak up, everyone of good grace. It's not only the right thing to do, it's also in people's self-interest. We're seeing the breakdown of our democracy. And when more police need to be deployed, which is what we need, it costs everyone in Los Angeles, every taxpayer, but more importantly, We need people of good grace to speak up. Enough is enough. In talking about the support from officials, including President Biden, I know they've condemned the violence online, um, especially after this event. But I'm curious, from your perspective, now eight months into the war, do you think that the Biden administration has been fully proactive and unequivocal in their support for the Jewish community? Or do you find that Biden and other Democratic leaders are still sort of threading the needle on this issue and caveating their support? So I think all the words you use are real, really important. So these are very nuanced issues. So to, to, to demand unequivocal support also means you're not recognizing the complexity of the issues. Mm-hmm. When it comes to the kind of support that is needed by and large, by and large, our elected officials, including those in Washington, including President Biden, have been strong, have been good. Could they do more? Of course. 
But what we need now, and maybe this is the turning point when we say enough is enough, is that people, people need to say enough is enough. All of us together need to condemn what we saw the other day. It starts with the Jewish community. As the U.S. State Department's ambassador to combat anti-Semitism, Deborah Lipstadt, says, it may start with the Jews, but it never ends with the Jews. And this attack, and that's what it was, an attack on a house of worship yesterday is an attack on every house of worship, which means everyone needs to speak up. Everyone needs to use their voice. What other actions would you like to see people, not just in the Jewish community, um, but other um, members of different faiths maybe take? Um, have you met with other interfaith leaders to discuss this problem? We do when we try and we need every friend we can get. The Jewish population in this country is a little more than 2%. 2%, that is all. Yet the hatred, religious-based hate crimes, here in LA County, for example, well over 75% last year targeted the Jewish community of religious hate crimes. We need the help. We need people to speak up and we need people to realize that in whatever passion to condemn actions of the Israel government, what happened yesterday was not that. It was not a protest at a consulate. It was not a protest at the federal building. It was not a protest even at a Jewish owned business. It was a house of worship. So everyone in Los Angeles, everyone of good grace has a duty, has an obligation, not just to the Jewish community, but to the greater society, to themselves, to speak up. Enough is enough. The time has come to speak up.